Let's talk about sharing. So as adults, we don't share our cars with strangers. We don't share our house with people unless we know them really, really well. But even then, it's a big ask to share something. And that's as adults. So when we expect our kids to share on a snap like that, it's actually asking a lot of them. And what's more than that is what is sharing? Sharing needs to come from within. It needs to be a choice that we make through empathy, towards other people and that we are passing on something that we care about. So the reason I like talking about sharing is because it's really a fascinating thing that we ask children to do. Why is it that sharing is such a big deal to us adults when it's actually really challenging for kids? I think a lot of the times it's because it makes things easier for us. It's less toys to buy. It means people are getting along better at preschool or daycare. Sharing is for convenience. However, sharing can be something much better than that. Sharing can be all about teaching children empathy and to care for other kids and to give things away that they care about, but they also have that trust factor knowing they're going to get it back. And I think that is where, that's where we miss the boat sometimes is the trust factor. So when we force children to share, we're breaking that trust with them. There isn't that understanding, I'm going to get it back. Um, you know, it's okay. She's just going to have it for a few minutes and then you're going to have it again. Especially when a child is under four years old and they have a really hard time understanding any kind of reasoning. You can explain all you want to them, but they still might not understand.